Oh, I'm Mark Sawatka, the General Secretary of PCS. Last year, we won a very important legal victory against the government to defend your redundancy terms. Because you voted by over 90% to reject the government's attack on your terms and conditions, we went to court and we won a reinstatement of 2010's redundancy terms for civil servants and PCS members. I'm pleased to tell you that as we start a new year, we are still in negotiations trying to defend you from further attacks from the government. They still want to reduce your redundancy terms by 30%. That is completely unacceptable. And we are determined to remain at the negotiating table, doing all we can to preserve your hard fought for redundancy rights. We've already had a series of important concessions. Because of our legal victory, some PCS members have recently had payments of up to £50,000 to right the wrong that was done to them by the government. Now we've achieved even more important gains. People who were denied access to an unreduced pension, now we've got the government to look at that again. People who left on voluntary exit terms, the government have now conceded, may well have been entitled to more money and they're going to look at that again. Also very importantly, for the few people who did better under the 2016 terms and the government wanted to reclaim money back off them, they have now decided to write off any overpayments. All of that was only achieved because you stood up to the government, voted to reject their imposed terms and you're part of a strong trade union. Now to ensure that we continue to defend your terms and conditions, the union needs to remain strong. So I'm urging you, if you're in a workplace where you know someone who is not a member of PCS, to ask them to join. Also, why don't you consider getting active in your union and becoming a rep? It's really important that you look out for further briefings and do all you can to be part of a union that is determined to defend your terms and conditions. We're due to meet the new minister shortly to make further representations and I'll ensure you're updated on all our attempts to defend the redundancy terms. Thanks very much for your support. I also want to say that at the end of last year, PCS voted massively to reject the government's attempt to further cut your living standards and to demand inflation-proofed pay rises in 2018. Next week, we'll do a further video message to update you on what we're doing to say to the government this year, give all PCS members the pay rise they deserve. Thanks for watching and look out for our pay video next week.